So I think that's uh, oh, they've really crunched him in now. He's into a dollar ninety-five, so they've really come for him hard here, Lonely Cowboy. It's one-way betting for the favourite box six, first leg of the quadrilla. Odds in, evens being placed away. GRSA.com.au grade five. And this is race five. Favourite box six, Lonely Cowboy, green light on. Away, begin only fair, needs to muster. Beginning quite well, second base is up there challenging. So the two favourites go side by side. This is a real great race, but she got too much toe. Second base has got a burn off Lonely Cowboy, who's a length and a half away. Behind those, Chatty Whacker, Hubbity Bubbity's trying to make ground behind those. And in turn, following those through, running on is the Steedy Mermaid. He's a J close out the tail end of the field. Back there with him also, Ravella, Marco Lee. But second base in front, coming at it though, Chatty Whacker. Chatty Wacker's going to be too strong for second base. Third placing Huppity Bubbity. Fourth placing Justini Mermaid. The heavily supported favourite Lonely Cowboy offered nothing over the concluding stages. Back there with it was Marco Lee and Ravel. And he's a shake load pulled up quickly with them. The time is around 30 and 30. Chatty Wacker too strong. Too strong. 4.52 was the early split. Then 17.15. 30 and 29. Just too strong, Chatty Wacker. Um, got up on the inside. She just drifted a bit wide, second base, using speed early, and she just tied a little bit and wobbled up the track over the concluding stages. It's 3, 8, 1 and 2. I uh, didn't expect it to be, begin quite as quick as that. Lonely Cowboy got across to the lead, I think as most punters thought. But then second base burnt him off, chopped, uh, chopped the cross going into the back straight. But then Chatty Wacker was only a couple of lengths away and he was railing nicely. Hubbity-bubbity behind those was trying to make ground and also to Steedy Mermaid. But second